Hi there, welcome to Dear Cypress Sue Advice Show. I have a question from one of my viewers on here on YouTube. They said, my new boyfriend cheated on two of his exes. Should I trust him? Now this is a really good question because this is something that people say, well, once a cheater, always a cheater. So what do you do? Question depends on whether your boyfriend owned up to it to you or did you find out from other people? Is this something that's being put around and he's got a reputation about it? Or is this something that happened once a very, very long time ago and he feels like crap about it and he wants to own up to you that this is something that will never happen again. He's had counseling, he's done all this stuff to better himself from not wanting to cheat on somebody he loves again. If it's a continual situation with everybody that they've gone out with, they seriously have an issue that they, they've got to learn how to control. They've got to learn how to fix this if they want to be in a partnership. But it's not up to you to fix them. Don't go in thinking that you're going to be that one woman that changes his view and he's never going to cheat on you because you're the best thing that ever happened to him. A lot of women go into relationships thinking this is going to change because they're with them now. A lot of behavioral patterns don't just change overnight with any new person. It's something that's deep rooted within them that they have to work on. So what do your instincts tell you? Like you're asking me this question, but you're asking me for a reason. So are your instincts warning you? Is there something that you've seen within him that scares you that he's going to do this again? Do they treat you well? Are they controlling? Do they try and rule your relationship? Do they play a lot of games? Or are they consistent with you? What they say matches their actions. These are all things you want to look at when you're trying to decide if a person, you can forgive a person for something or when you're trying to decide if you want to share your life with somebody. You've got to play out all aspects of what's being put in front of you. Don't ignore anything. So there's other little things that cheaters kind of give away about themselves. They can't help themselves really. And that's the people that are, you know, they're busy. They're, they're always doing things that don't always include you, even though they say that you're their girlfriend. Or they're very secretive about things. Or they take their phone into the bathroom with them. They never leave their phone anywhere that you can see it. Find out what made them cheat. What did they learn about it? What, what made them even go there? Especially if they've done it more than once. You want to know what transpired to make them take this route in their relationship because it's not fair to their partner and it's not fair to them either because they don't, probably don't even know why they're doing it. And they keep ending up in a relationship. Well, why don't they just keep dating and not go get into a committed relationship if that's all they want to do is have sex with somebody else? So these are the things you want to ask those questions and get to the root of it very early in your relationship because you said it's your new boyfriend so ask the questions because if he's told you or you've heard it from someone else that makes a big difference as well if they're owning their stuff thanks everyone for listening to dear cyber sue today thanks for subscribing to my channel or if you haven't i'd love it if you would click on the button right here on this channel and please leave your comments and like the video thanks everyone bye